Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. So this video is going to pick off from the last time I did on March the 9th. And so we're going to go ahead and finish up our run. I ended the stream when I was in Boise because I had to go take care of a few things. So now we're going to go ahead and finish this run down from Bellingham to Beaumont, Texas. Let's go ahead and start up our... Peterbilt 39 here, and let's get back on the road and finish this job up. Ready to roll. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful um, Friday night. By the time you probably see this video, I'll probably be doing a live stream. So, a couple of things I would like to start to do in the um all right let's go ahead and get back on to interstate 84 here so a couple right. things i want to go over as far as content wise all right it's uh, i'm going to continue to do more american truck similar i might start doing some beam and g drive i do plan on eventually doing some um, Red Dead Redemption 2 once I go ahead and purchase the game I'm going to continue doing the uh, GT5 chase series if you guys enjoyed that I'm probably going to do more of the Hot Wheels Unleashed I might start doing um, Microsoft Flight Simulator I'm not really sure on that one. Let me know you guys know what you would like to see. So, so going on for next week for the weekend of March uh, 16th through 17th. I may do a birthday live stream on the 17th. Or um, it might be a American Truck Simulator. It might be Forza Horizon 5. I'm going to be updating. The game finally getting a steering wheel set up as I said I would a few months ago. So I'm finally going to be having a steering wheel. I'm actually going to get a better microphone than this headset mic I've been using to where I'm going to turn my headset that I have now just into a normal pair of headphones. And I'm going to get one of those um mics where I can just tap it to mute if I need to mute real quick or something. But, on that front, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I enjoy making it. I'm going to continue making it. Want to get us to the 200 subscribers. But, on that front, um, some more things I want to just discuss, like I don't want to say anything more about Diverse, but since I have left, I've been talking to a few members that have just been letting me know what's going on there. But when I put, if you guys went back and you watched that video of why I left um, DVRP Diverse Roleplay, Chad was not happy with the fact that I made that video, saying this is the issue that I had with you. I don't know if any of you other guys may have saw the comments or not, but Chad likes to try and degrade uh, people's image when they leave his community. So he came over to my channel and was like, how do I put this without replicating his words exact? Like, oh, so you're doing this to be disrespectful to me and my community, and if you don't like how Jim handles stuff, come back to me. I went to him to handle the situation instead of going to the gym because I knew Jim would go in did and go to Micah. But you know what? I wasn't I wasn't trying to go too in depth in that video because I didn't want to cause issues between me and 
Chad, but that bridge was burnt when he came at me saying that I made a hit piece. That video about why I left is not a hit piece, it is to serve as a warning for you guys who want to join Diverse Roleplay. Okay, most of the people there are good people, but the way things are going is that that community is slowly going to fall apart. And this is the reason why. Alright, it's just my speculation. Nothing that actually may happen, but some of the staff there are just, they just don't know what they're doing. To where it causes a lot of issues. Like, when I was joined, I was told, okay, do the RP, handle situations after the RP. Instead of doing what Chad does, like, throughout his live streams, where he immediately tends when someone, because they messed up during roleplay. And just going at them like, yo. And then kicking them out of control. Like, everyone makes a mistake. Even he makes a mistake. But. But. Like, things were just out of hand. Just the way he was acting. Like, was just immaturity. Even for Chad, that. That was a bit, um, was a bit of a stretch, even for him. But, I'm gonna just say, it's like, if you join a media team on DBRP and you leave, because, like, an issue that I left was because of some of the staff members. I didn't like the way that they handled their situation. And then I knew it was a matter of time before Chad came at me for making that little piece, which he claims to be a hit piece and disrespectful toward him. When A, it's not disrespectful toward him at all, it is toward, it, um, kind of toward the LSPD administration, except for Tyler. So this is me clearing up the issue if anyone from who enjoys watching Chad, you can go ahead and watch him, but just a warning, like, you join Diverse Roleplay, you see stuff that Chad does, you're, you're not able to do it because then you get yelled at by the other staff members. Stay right. Stay so, right. that's enough about Diverse Roleplay. But, going on now, so, I'm still waiting to do my interview for East Coast Roleplay, to where I'll be joining up with Call Rice Gaming, aka Garrett and Deputy Ryan K. Those two were awesome, some when I was in DBRP. I'll go into the reason why that is. Is that when, uh, how do I put this? Is that when I was first starting out as an FTA in Diverse, Gary kind of was like helping me out and showing me, like, hey, don't do this during like an early patrol. Like, don't be training people during like an early patrol because it never really went anywhere. Because then they can't learn, oh, how do I deal with the 1080? I don't know how to deal with the traffic stop because it was just kind of like boring. And then, like, if you saw the video of why he left DVRP, it was, was kind of like the same issue, like, as I did. He wasn't feeling appreciated. And it's kind of the same reason for Ryan and the same for me. It's that we all felt like we were not being appreciated. Like, most of these higher staff members, they kiss. But the Chad, and that's what happened. And so then, when a member goes to chat about something, he'll be like, "Oh, take it down to this guy. This guy takes it down to the administration." Then a word just dropped. But furthermore, um, this 
video is actually going to be a longer one because we're currently just still in Idaho, crossing into Utah. And we still have a little bit ways to go until... until we can get over to Beaumont, Texas. So this video will be a bit of a longer one. If you guys don't mind it being like an hour, 30 minute long video. But once this video is up in, on the channel, I might actually, no, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this video down into maybe, you know what, no, we'll just do this video in all in one because it wouldn't make sense for me to break it up because it just means more time consuming for me to break it up when I can just film it all in one session. Caution. So Please that's what we'll do here. here. So, guys, let me know what you want to see. Like, do you want to see more Forza Horizon 5? Do you want to see Beam and Hate Drive? Continue to see American Truck Simulator? I promise I'll start doing some more um, 5M content. I am looking for, like, I wouldn't do like a 5PD server. That's kind of like LSPFR. I know one that I've been trying to play around is TSDOJ, but the, it, the only issue that I have with that server is that anytime like there's a ton of people around, their stuff takes a really long time to load, and they haven't really updated their server to like the current version of GTA 5, which is like to the current version of Grand Theft Auto 5 for the new DLC that's coming out March 16th which is like the day before my birthday so there might be a birthday live stream that day nothing on Saturday because I'm be spending that with my family and um testing out my gonna be testing out the new setup there might be a stream that Sunday, the 19th. And then we'll just start doing more videos and live streams, which I might start doing maybe Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and possibly Fridays, depending on how I feel. But I want to get back to doing more, um, video recording than just live streaming everything. So, I hope to be making 5M content again soon. Right now, that's just on the back burner until I get my interview done for East Coast Roleplay, which I hope happens throughout the weekend or even later tonight. That's what we're going to plan on doing. As I said, guys, like, I, most of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. I know a lot of you guys like watching the content, so it helped me out a lot. If you guys would like, comment, subscribe, and help me get to 200, and it helped me grow the channel. I've been working on this channel since, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say stay left. Set early. I think I launched the channel in May 2020. Actually, no, it was June 2020. But I started just making smaller videos back in like April, May of 2020 when I was back when I did Call of Duty. I might start doing some more shooter type games too, like Rainbow Six Siege with a few, with my buddy Lane and Dakota from Diverse Roleplay. But I think those two actually know. I probably shouldn't say this, but when I was talking to them, they were just letting me know what was happening. But. 
Those two are really good friends, and I appreciate Caution. it. Caution. Be mind the speed limit. So we are now in the state of Utah. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the pace so that I can shed some time on them. Caution. But tonight, um, whenever you guys actually do get to see this video, it might get put up, um, Saturday, it'll Caution. probably be up on the Speed channel, Saturday, March, March 11th, 2023, I'ma just say yeah, that, Stay I know it sounds redundant, but I'ma just say it anyway, because I'm the tip of my tongue, that's what we're gonna do. Staying on the 15. Even though I think we're going to switch interstates. So, pretty much, this is just part two of that uh, live stream. Did, uh, yesterday. But I appreciate all the love and support, guys, and I hope you continue to watch the content. I enjoy doing more American Truck Simulator. I'm going to continue doing it with my friends. And hopefully hoping to get more, more of us together. And, yeah. And checking out new, new road states, Etc. Let's go ahead and continue our uh, tracking. I might go sign throw on time to time just because I want to just sit let my throat rest for now and let you guys enjoy the sounds Stay of right. American Truck Stay Simulator. <laughs> So yeah, so a few updates I'm going to do. I will probably put all my mods um, that I use for American Truck Simulator down in the description below or um, or in the profile of my YouTube channel you can join my Discord server where you can check out anything or just come hang out with me and my me and the boys. I'm going to just put it that way. Hang out with us, and uh, yeah, don't be afraid to join in on the fun. If you have American Truck Simulator and you're looking for people to play with, or you're just looking to hang out, make some new friends, don't be afraid to join. We do not bite. We're not scary. We're just here to hang out and be uh, chill. And we time to get a little rowdy with our uh, inappropriate jokes. So, I recommend that you probably be like, I would say a little bit older than 16. Because we make a lot of inappropriate jokes. But further ado, I'm going to just shut up for a little bit and let you guys enjoy the sound of this Lovely Peterbilt 389. Stay and right. Maybe in a few minutes I go through the uh, specs of what mod I have in the truck and how much horsepower I have.
a little bit about this truck I'm look like there I have this version and I have the res build 389 I probably if like you guys want to see that truck if you see me use it in the last room a few times I um, will probably go through and use it in the last room I'll just go for what that truck is I have a train horn installed I'm not gonna use it at all but, yeah. So I have 1,400 miles to go. And we're still in Utah. I think we still gotta go down through Colorado. gas gauge looking. Well, almost a uh, half a tank, it looks like. Yeah, I'm uh, getting up to a half a tank of fuel. I have enough fuel for 1,200 miles, so I might fill up again, maybe when we enter Colorado? It's not the next uh, truck stop. Caution. But we're making some good time though. Caution. Leave mine to speed. Alright, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just to break it up. I'ma break this video up into three parts. into this video. We still have 1,300 miles to go. So guys, if you play American Truck Simulator, um, so the, what you see, the pink bars that you see on my 
side screen are the overlays for the app called Trucky. So what it does, so pretty much what it does is it tracks the jobs that you do, and once you have it set up in your Discord server, like, and you have it connected to your uh, Steam account and everything, and you do a run, it will say, okay, this is your run. And it tracks how many miles you do, how many gallons of gas, what your speed is, what the speed limit is. Like, when I say, oh, I have about 1,200 miles worth of gas, it's, it's an estimated how many miles. Because that, this number can always change. The more you drive, the faster your uh, truck loses out of fuel. Yeah, it looks like we are getting on to I-70 now. And then in the middle, it'll tell you, okay, so I picked up the load at Bellingham UPS. I'm taking the Beaumont, Texas, uh, GMC warehouse. So, I think GMC in this case can be in General Motor Company. Um, I gotta come over, guys. Thank you. Now we're on I-70. So we're actually close to Denver. We're in, I think we're in Colorado now. Oh, what is this truck doing in front of me? Trailer's kind of like doing some dang stuff. Um, bum bum. We got, we got a long way to go though. Um, at this rate, I'm at. So pretty much you can see where I start. I started here in Boise, came all the way down Bellingham, went through here, came up, pat, down through here, down through Wekema, down this highway, all the way down Interstate 84, stopped off at Boise. This was part one of the trip. Part two is we're literally about to enter Colorado. Okay, so yeah, there, there's a gas station right here, and then there's another gas station right down the road. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. We're going to be getting on 191, which is going to take us into Colorado. We're going to stop this gas station here and fill up. Because I'd rather be safe than sorry than uh, keep burning down my gas cage. And there should be a gas station on my right up here. Caution. Be 
mind the speed limit. Cross over the Colorado River. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you want to join the uh, Discord, alright, here's a little thing for the Discord. If I were you, I'd write down the uh, thing. Feel free to join the Discord, accept the rules and regulations, and you can come hang out with us. So here's the Discord link. It's also in my profile if you just want to click and join. But here's that for you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and stop again. At this uh, shower. This truck burns a lot of fuel, so right now we're on the edge of Utah, entering Colorado. So pretty much our states that we have left, I'll just show you the rest of the route that we're going to be going. So we're going to continue down um, US Route 191, we're going to get on the 491 on the 160. So pretty much right here is where we're going to cross. It's right when we make that turn, make that left turn, we're going to be coming right into Colorado. Go past, go past the Billion Dollar Highway. I think the next live stream I want to do is going up the Million Dollar Highway. We'll probably do like an inverse run maybe, or another run just like shorter. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down. We're just going to be in Colorado for like a few minutes. And then we're going to go down to New Mexico. Cross into Albuquerque. Get on um, the Mother Interstate. That's why I like to call it Interstate 40 right here. It's the Mother Interstate. And we're going to just take 40 all the way down. All the way down. This is technically still Interstate 40. Well, Interstate 40 ends right here, but it will probably be extended once um, Oklahoma is done. So, we're going to get on that, come on to 287, go all the way down through Wichita Falls, get on, stay on 287, um, Interstate 35 westbound, I guess is what they call this, down th past Dallas, all the way down past Huntsville, all the way to Belmont. So this video is still going to be pretty long, but that's just the gist of the route. Let's go ahead. We are good on fuel. And let's go ahead and get out of here. So, I'm going my blinker because I don't need that anymore and let's continue. Come on. Go, go, go. I'm going to go because I'm already accelerating. Thankfully, I can run a red light as a truck driver from what I've been told. You can run a red light because, like, when the light quickly turns Caution. green and then turns right back to red, you're accelerating. You can't just slam on your brakes and expect to stop. You can run a red light. But if you're an actual truck driver, don't yell at me if it's just a simulation game. But Caution. I'm just Mind here to make content. So why I might say it might not be true at all. Or it might be true, one of the two. But now we're going to be on some back roads, cutting into Colorado, then we'll be cutting right into New Mexico. So we're technically going through five states. So pretty much we started in the day, now it's just driving through the night, and we should be there probably by the following night. Stay right. Stay right. Why do I need to 
stay right. I hit curves, but just because I'm an 18 wheeler. Expect it to hit a curve. and drive. Technically, by now we should actually be in Colorado. We're gonna be in Colorado for like maybe a few minutes, and then we'll be kind of right in New Mexico. in front of me is like, oh my god, it's a train behind me. Oh wait, it's just Peterbilt 389. By the next live stream I do of this, well I shouldn't say the next one, but what I will announce when I have the new steering wheel, I'm going to have a new microphone set up too. So then, um, the mic isn't like directly in my mouth, it's a little bit distant but it, it should make audio a lot better there as a whole so I'm gonna have some mic tuning to do Ghost so the next video I put out will probably be the test video for the uh, my new microphone just see how you guys like it This car in front of me is driving so slow. Come on. I mean, they are doing the speed limit. I'm just trying to speed. I'm just trying to speed. 
just trying to be a speed demon. Caution. Please find the speed limit. Caution. Please find the speed limit. I think the next time I'm gonna have to fill up might be somewhere in New Mexico. So we're at least gonna have to fill up three times, Caution. I would say, say give or take. Not necessarily, no, I have enough fuel for... 1900 miles. Stay left. And then oh. Turn left. Stay left and then turn left. Oh. Turn left. We're gonna be on this back road. Get first? ready to turn left. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Okay, on the 160 now. Alright, no one's coming. Alright. Yeah, and then that. Now we're just going to continue down this road for a little bit. Well, we are now currently Go 42 in. minutes in. Technically, it says that we still have about an hour, so this video might be up to maybe an hour, hour and 30 minutes. The two hours will be a lengthy video, but it'll be one of the longer videos I do, even though I try to save these long runs for a live stream. But I don't want to live stream the same run two nights in a row. I want to switch it up. So that's what we're going to do tonight. That's what we're actually going to do. I'm going to try and just... I was just trying to check the time. Don't look at your watch and drive. It doesn't really work out. And now it is daytime. Let's go. So we are in beautiful, colorful Colorado. Colorado is actually one of the pretty states. Oh, there's a dirt road there. You know what? I'm gonna have to come back through. I actually mean it when I say this. I wanna come back through and explore some of these areas. Like, I wanna find some of the hidden roads. Oh, it looks like we're ending up through a pass. Sweet. I like doing a little mountain climbing. Left lane ends, so it's gonna come down to a one lane road. Don't. Okay, you are a lucky. Um, the Dodge Magnum right there. Looks like there'd be some more dirt roads right there. That's the ones I'm not going to complain about being behind a truck, is because you gotta go downhill. But if you guys want to see a live stream of the Million Dollar Highway, feel free to comment on it and just put Million Dollar Highway. And I will see if, if I can get um, my buddy, a few friends together and we can go through all these other states. It's a matter of getting them to buy them. Unlike me who buys every single state that comes out. But next state that I promise I will actually review right when it comes out will be the grand state of Oklahoma. I'm looking forward to Oklahoma. I'm excited to check it out. Stay right. And then after that, I believe SCS is doing Nebraska. So I am looking forward to reviewing Nebraska. 
Alaska and Tail. So those will probably be either in a live stream that I will do when they Stay release right. or right. a recorded video. As this one is, it's just finishing off the run that I was doing in a live stream. Right. This is very tight. I just want to make sure that I can make this corner without damaging my uh, trailer. And then I get to bypass that light. As we get onto this uh, road here. Go straight. And now we're stuck at a red light. I honestly don't have that much of this red line. Caution. Please mind the speed limit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna Go push straight. that line. Because I was technically still accelerating. I could have slowed down for it, but I didn't want to set another red light. So I'm gonna just punch it. Stay right. Yes. Go. Then turn right. Please mind the speed limit. I know. That oh, speed limit's still 35. Yeah, we're doing a 40. We're fine. Leaving colorful Colorado. And welcome to New Mexico. We've been right. through two states now. And our last state to be passing through before we enter Texas. Stay left, then turn left. Stay left, and then turn left. I wish I could pause a recording while I'm recording. That would be like nice.
Next one.